to give you an idea of how the various tools in the OFBIS framework fit together, let's now review this artifact reference diagram. This is the last page of the uh, um, OFBIS framework quick reference book from Underson Consulting. So this is a diagram I put together to uh, help you to see all of the individual pieces, all of the different files that correspond to different tools in the OFBIS framework and how they refer to each other and so kind of how the big picture fits together. Let's start with the web browser up here and kind of go down through the process through the user interface layer and then over down through the service layer and the data layer all the way down to uh, where the database is, uh, is touched and then how the data flows back up through and out to the user. So first we get uh, a web browser client. Um, this, by the way, is just one example of how the different tools in the uh, OFBiz framework can be used. The only thing that is really web-specific is this box right up here uh, that relates with the control servlet uh, in OFBiz. Uh, it is also possible, of course, to have, um, as part of the screen widget, we have this platform-specific tag with HTML under it. Uh, to denote that this is a platform-specific thing, uh, like this specific template. Uh, FTL templates don't always have to just generate HTML, but in this case they typically do. And um, so we have this platform-specific tag to uh, set that apart. Um, though the rest of the screen widget and the other tools are really intended to be uh, reusable across different types of user interfaces and different types of applications. So the web browser uh, sends a request to the serv server uh, the servlet container, this is just going to be any standard uh, J2EE uh, servlet implementation. By default, out of the box, OFBiz uh, uses Tomcat, uh, but any other uh, one is, of course, possible. Um, in the web.xml file, we refer, we define a servlet that is mounted at a certain point. Right here, we can see this control uh, is the name of the control servlet, or this is where the control servlet is mounted. And the servlet container sees the, that part of the URL coming in and sends the request on to the control servlet. The control servlet then looks at the rest of the URL after where it is mounted and sees the name of the request. It looks that request up in the controller.xml file, which is the main file for configuring the control servlet, looks up a request map with that request as the request URI finds the definition of the request. Um, there can optionally be an event associated with the request. If there is an event that is invoked, um, an event can return a, uh, will return a string and uh, can return any string you want. The typical uh, default strings to return are either success or error. If there is no event, then success will be assumed. And um, under the request map, we have a list of responses. Uh, for the different return strings from the event. If there is no event, of course, there'll just be one response with the name success. Uh, the different responses can do different things. Um, they can either chain to another request, allowing us to go around this loop multiple times to invoke multiple events, uh, or it can be a view, and eventually, of course, we'll want to come to some sort of a view to prepare something to send back to the user. When it is a view, it refers to a view map in the controller.xml file. Uh, there are various different types of views. So this is one touch point. The event is another touch point. There are various different types of events. Um, so these are touch points where you can insert different types of uh, tools and uh, either the uh, out-of-the-box ones available in OFBiz or whatever tools you prefer. Uh, different types of views that are supported in OFBiz, uh, any servlet resource, a JSP or whatever, we don't use those very much uh, because we have uh, preferred tools that um, are uh, more efficient and cleaner to use. So the main one that we use generally is a screen type of view. So in the view map, it will point to a screen definition. A screen is basically meant to be a... Uh, kind of an atomic artifact that knows how to prepare its own information and uh, lay out and present that information back. So um, in the screen we have this generic concept of a section. 
uh, a section there's one screen uh, there's one section underneath the screen element but a section can also go underneath the widgets element uh, inside of the section so uh, this can be reused to have different sections of a screen that have uh, different conditions and actions associated with them um, so the screen itself can have uh, uh, conditions wherein either uh, the widgets will be rendered and the actions called or there is an alternative to the widgets tag. Uh, if the condition fails, then uh, there is a fail widgets uh, that will be rendered instead. So this is a nice way to uh, have different uh, uh, screens composed together for different circumstances. The actions are meant to be used uh, specifically for data preparation. These should uh, so uh, here I'll draw a distinction between the screen actions and the control servlet request events. Events are associated with the request coming into the server and should be used only for processing data that's passed in with the request. It should not be used for preparing data uh, to display. The actions, on the other hand, are meant to be using for preparing data to display and not for processing input uh, that came in with the request. Uh, so this distinction allows a uh, screen to be used wherever, included in another screen or associated with any view, regardless of the requests that come before it. And as requests are run, they take care of the input coming in and can uh, then go to any view without worrying about any sort of dependency between the requests and the views. Now actions, there are different types of actions that we use for data preparation, either calling a service, we see this arrow going over to the service engine and a service definition. Uh, there are a few simple entity query operations that you can include right under the actions tag, which will basically call right into the entity engine and take advantage of entity definitions to do uh, queries, simple queries from the database. Uh, or you can also uh, call a script. And the scripting language, as I mentioned before, our preferred scripting language is BeanShell. So this is where you'd refer to a BSH script. Once the data is prepared, we now want to uh, lay out and present that data back to the user. Um, screens are meant to be uh, kind of isolated areas of a screen or a page. Uh, that can be reused, so little boxes on the page could be uh, independent screens that are uh, responsible for their own data preparation and layout and included in a larger screen, um, perhaps uh, even multiple levels of includes. We also have a decorator pattern so that a screen can be used to decorate another screen and um, even composite decorators so that the decorator can have multiple uh, insertion points uh, uh, where it inserts things from the calling screen. Uh, so, in other words, so screens can be composed together using the screen widget. Um, specific areas uh, of the page can either come from a form. This is kind of the uh, recommended best practice tool. Uh, using the form widget to render the form. And uh, um, these are meant to be uh, generic, platform generic, so the same form definition. Uh, it has nothing HTML specific in it and could potentially be used in uh, other types of uh, user interfaces. Um, the FTL templates typically are platform specific, hence that tag there, uh, specifically for HTML. And there's an HTML include, there's also an HTML decorator to decorate a screen with a template. In this case, so we're including an FTL template, uh, which will be rendered. It will share, uh, just like the BeanShell script, the, the FTL template will inherit the context of the screen as it's being rendered. So all of the information available here and prepared in the actions uh, will be available to uh, subsequent BeanShell scripts or to the templates as they are being rendered.